Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Been a busy, busy month. Glad to see everybody here. And uh, you know, glad to be flying again. It's been a while. I've uh, I've kind of taken a taken a step back a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of really reevaluating the things that I want to do uh, as far as in this hobby goes. And um, yeah, I. <laughs> I'm really falling in love with the whole sub 250 thing all over again. Five inches are awesome, but ah, sub 250, it's gotten pretty good, um, especially with all the HD systems out there. So that was uh, my little uh, my little HD zero rip squeak. Um, this little guy right there, super fun little quad. Uh, managed to shake most of the screws out of the motors. Might have reattached all those. And we've got music again. Uh, turns out pretty much all of my, anything that has any sort of music to it, uh, went back to Epidemics Down and they have been copyright or uh, copyright claiming the ever living out of my channel. <laughs> so uh, seems like 15 bucks a month. I guess, uh, I guess it's worth it. Uh, I, you know, I've been kind of trimming back. Like, really taking a good look at what what money comes in versus what goes out and uh things like um uh tube buddy gone can't uh, can't justify it um i'm lucky right now that my adobe subscription is covered by my wife's college that's been a huge benefit epidemic sounds about 15 a month it's way too much but yeah, it is what it is. Anywho, how's everybody doing today? Robbie Store, first one in here, speaking some funky goop. But uh, glad to see you here, my friend. Free Lojo, Brandon Baked Beans. Good morning, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, let's see, Fly Zone Drone. Welcome, Lawrence. Good to see you here, my friend. It's been a while, long time. More an upshot. Testies, testies. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, Sleepy CBR, how you doing? Uh, Bitterroot, good morning. Steady Eddie has a uh, very, very fun little comment. If you understand the pizza's round, comes a square box, and we as triangles, then you understand women. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> TK, good morning. Wrong way, FPV. Good morning, my friend. How are you? In there, I got some links to find your tweet FPV merch or Radio Grips if uh, if you happen to have gotten a hold of one of these bad mamma jammas. Boxer, still loving this. It is, it, is, it is my daily driver. I absolutely love this radio. Um, it's not perfect, but out of what's out there, pretty darn, pretty darn good. Let me stream forward slash commands tweet FPV. It gives you a list of all the things that you can do to uh, manipulate the lights in this room. Uh, looks a bit like this. Go ahead and punch in a command in the chat. Like, let's say, exclamation point red. And then eventually, if the system's working, which you never know. Whoop, crap, wrong button. Uh, there you go. See the red. Kind of fun. Uh, another subscription service that I have axed because honestly, it brings me nothing by paying for it as opposed to just using the free license although, other than it just bugs me to uh, pay for it. It's very Twitch oriented, so it doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Works just fine for YouTube and what I need it to do. As I mentioned in the last stream, uh, this bad boy has gotten significantly smaller. The X class is gone and has replaced, been replaced by the Beast class, which uh, I really need to start flying. I'm scared to fly it. It's really what it comes down to. I'm scared to fly it because it's so darn expensive. I'm afraid of breaking things on it because I don't want to pay for replacements. Everything's a hundred bucks on it. Motors hundred bucks. ESC's hundred bucks. Well, props aren't hundred bucks, but you got to buy them in two packs. So it's pretty expensive. Anywho, fly Ryan. Good morning, Mike Bergman. Glad to see you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm flying micros again too, says Brandon. Yeah, you know, uh, a big push to flying micros is whole, all the FAA BS going on. Um, figure I uh, might as well get ahead of it. L. Aston, good morning. Uh, Steady Eddie, my F <laughs> my 5-inch identifies a sub-250 quad. 
I'm building a rotor hazard uh, Arduino race timer. Rotor head Arduino race timer. I'm gonna try using an orange pie as a raspberry are hard to get. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Um, unless they've actually written code for the Orange Pie, a lot of them are not one-for-one -one drop in replacements, even with the firmware, but um, pies are so stinking expensive. Um, I've got a timer. It's the uh, Delta 5 timer, which the Rose hazard Rose Rotor Hazard timer is based off this design. Um, I think there's some uh, sketchy bullshit in the Open GPL where uh, they're not attributing the uh, firmware to the Delta 5 creators, which I personally know, and there is some bad blood between those two. Um, there is some sketchy shit, except for Scott just doesn't care. He's got a life and he's got more important things to worry about. Just saying. I'm not 100% sure on all that, but that's kind of the gist of what I'm getting out of them. Oh, man. Oh, YouTube did the jumpy thing. I, you know, why can't... I can't... Why can't we just not do this? Oh, man. Where are we at? Uh, bu -bu 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 going back through here. Um... Uh, Mike uh, Morton Upshot said, I'm glad I f you found the X a home. I was thinking about it hard. Yeah, uh, I made the guy a pretty good deal. Um, he he was basically going to use it for exactly the only thing I used it for, which was to do flying demonstrations for college kids. Uh, he was a college professor of aerodynamics or something like that. And I, you know, it's going to a good cause. It went to a good home. Um, I told the dude, like, you really need to know what you're doing because I broke that thing down into, like, five different pieces main body and all the arms off of each other he had a lot of soldering to do uh before he got it up uh but yeah uh, i i even included the batteries and shipped it all just i don't know I, I felt felt bad getting rid of it but felt good to make sure it went to somebody who was actually going to maybe use it uh put a lock hello humans hello whatever you are um let's see uh, it stopped raining. Uh, managed a day at the track. So much fun. Yeah, my track, I think, is pretty much dead. Which I... No one has come out and said it, but it's dead. It's dead. Uh, yeah, not knowing where to fly it. That's a, that's a big thing. The only, time, only places I flew it was, besides my house, was um, at the, the local college. Whenever they called me out there to do it. Athex, good morning! All right, guys, so today, what are we doing today? Um, for starters, I am going to try to uh, get an idea for my next build. It's going to be, my goal is a sub-250 DJI 03 uh, quad. I really wanted to go 5-inch, uh, but I don't think that there is any way to make that work. It's just going to be far too heavy. Uh, the DJI 03 air unit uh, is about... 40 grams alone. I could probably get close, but I don't think I could get to uh, sub 250 on that. So I think I'm going to go three and a half inch. Um, three and a half inches going. <clears throat> well, here were the two frames that I had uh, contending was the um, AOS Ultralight 5 and then the AOS uh, 3.5 uh, 03. Um, there's enough weight difference here that I think this is going to make a big difference, especially once you start adding smaller motors, smaller props, smaller batteries. This gives me quite a bit of reserve. I actually kind of already did some of the math on this. Um, it's probably going to be all gibberish to you guys just because it's written in my my uh, uh, stupid shorthand here. Let's see if we can make it bigger, make it bigger. There we go. All right, so... Um, Basically, these are kind of the rough um, rough estimations, and this is all uh, like the frame. That was just what published weights are. Uh, I didn't actually have those in hand. Uh, AIO, I'm going to be using the... Where'd it go? Apparently, it's a vanishing AIO. What the... It's right here. Hello. Ah. 
<laughs> it's under a lens cloth. Uh, I've got an older Beast F7 AIO. This is uh, with the MPU 6000 uh, gyro. This is a bad, bad, bad mamma jamma. I think it's good for 40, 45 amps. Uh, consistent, not burst, 45 amps. So it's going to be with the Beast, uh, a GPS. I have one of the new Fly Whoos. Uh, GPS, maybe, maybe not. Uh, that's obviously an option. Uh, EP1 with a long antenna, a lot of gram. DJI 03 air unit, uh, 40.13 grams. That's a big chunk of, uh, of weight there. LiPo, uh, 55, uh, 55 grams. Motors, that was estimated 16.4, but that was based off of some 2004 motors. So a little different between the two here. Props, weight with LiPo, reserve 15 grams. Uh, in reality, uh, getting everything together uh, and running, I believe this was for a 4S650. Uh, it left me, uh, or no, so all together with actual weights, having the frames in hand, this is with the AOS 3.5. It left me 69 grams for a LiPo. Nice. So that's kind of where I'm at. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the way to go? Uh, I'm looking for... I'm looking for all sorts of input. I wanted to go four inch, but I couldn't find any real good four inch frames that weren't overly heavy. Uh, my uh, Vista Baby Hawk 2 HD is barely sub 250 with a long range. Yeah. Um, interesting. Uh, decase it. Yeah, I've seen people decasing the O3. I don't, how much weight does that save, decasing the O3? Uh, with the name of Wu Tank, I gotta assume it's probably heavy. Uh, L. Weston, there are some big improvements in 4.4, uh, mostly because they, uh, they've perfected the uh, return to home with landing. Um, I haven't used it. But I've seen pretty good things. Uh, rather than having it fall out of the sky about 100 yards from you, it'll actually, like, slowly land <laughs> and slowly crash closer to you. Um, it's all it's all mixed results, though. Uh, sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't from what I've seen. Again, I haven't tried it. Um Wu Tank is ultralight. What a what a misleading name. Wu Tank. Wu Tank. Uh, Athex, you want to post a link to that? Rick, how you doing? Uh, we'll see you around, buddy. Have a good time at the races. Uh, there must be some sort of uh, uh, setting or some sort of sanity check that it's failing. Maybe not high enough. Maybe not far enough. Maybe not enough sats. Uh, if you're on DJI and it says you have 14 sets, that means you have zero sets. Uh, that system is kind of flawed that way. Flying Ryan, no, you didn't. God, we're getting to it. Jeez, people. All right. <laughs> Again, like in the description, we are. I, I will be. We're doing the uh, mystery bag again today. If you didn't miss, if you uh, missed the first mystery bag. Uh, basically, I just run around my little storage room of FBB, FPV whatnot, and I just start throwing stuff in the bag. I honestly wasn't even paying attention. I was just grabbing shit, throwing it in the bag. Um, no purchase necessary, but, you know, I had to purchase the stuff at some point. So if you guys won't mind uh, throwing a few, few shekels in the hopper, that would be greatly appreciated. The entry link is in the video description, uh, all at the bottom. Go ahead and get in on that. Uh, there are zero entries as of right now. And at about uh, 11.45, maybe 11.50, somewhere around there, we'll spin the wheel, and uh, one lucky winner will win everything that's inside that bag. you got to pay for shipping. I am not made of money. The United States Postal Service does not need any more of my freaking money. So if you want what's in the bag, uh, you got to pay for it. Or you can just turn it down. Uh, that's, that's also an option. Just because you win, it doesn't mean uh, it should be open now. Unless I put the wrong link in there. All right, yeah, someone's in there. Lawrence is in there. Free Lojo's in there. I can see them all pop up as you guys enter, so. 
I was giving it a second to open it, but it is open now. Oh, man. Also, for the uh, the typical Patreon... Monthly giveaway. I've got two options. You want to go slow? You want to go fast? You want to go slow? I have this um, Pavo 25 with a uh, it's some sort of naked DJI camera thing. I don't remember what version it was, what camera that is. It's a little tiny guy. I think it's probably a Cadex. Polar. It's a Polar. Cadex Polar. Uh, this is a really nice tight, tight little build. Uh, or if you want to go fast, uh, 533 Tiny Trainer. This has a beta FEV something or other on it. Some Zing. Um, 1404, 4600 uh, KV motors. A run cam something or other camera. It's all analog. And I believe this one is on Tracer. Yeah. So if you fly Tracer, this is going to be a good option. If you don't fly Tracer... Um, they just have to change the receiver out. Not that big of a deal. So, these are the options uh, for the monthly giveaway. If you don't know how to get on that, well, tough shit. Figure it out. These guys know how to get into it. Most of them do, anyways. Mike Bergman, you ask, is this for Patreon giveaway? Uh, what are you referring to? Are you talking about the mystery bag or the two uh, the two quads? The two quads, uh, those ones are run on a certain website. Uh, the mystery bag is anybody can enter. Just got to find the link in the video description. Uh, let's see. Bitterroot says, Bitterroot says, easy swap. Yes, it is a very, very easy swap. It's literally one for one pin. You know, there's nothing fancy. I don't think you even need to uh, get into beta flight to make it work. Kind of cool. I wonder if Trav, Traver can be flashed with the OS. I think you meant to say Tracer. No, it cannot. It absolutely cannot. that's okay we wouldn't like to live in a world where you could do that would we i don't know all right so back to this build thing here um you guys get let me know what you think uh so the motors i have uh, unfortunately i don't have a large selection of motors the come on i don't want these to open this one are you open no how are none of these oh, there it is got it so the motors i plan on using are these little guys these are the uh these are the uh, Mamba Toka motors. These are the 1404 4000 KV flavor. These are some really cool looking motors. Uh, I don't really give a rat's ass about how they look, but if they're gonna look cool, that's really cool. Wrong Way FPV, $20 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. I uh, greatly, greatly appreciate that very much appreciate it. so these are the motors for the build this is the esc this is the video transmitter i don't know the receivers here somewhere it's they're so small i lose them i literally have lost elr's receivers before i think my vacuum cleaner sucked the one up uh, it's a downside to having a, a robot vacuum cleaner it's, it's it makes life easier but you know it's uh, it's indiscriminate. It does not care what's on the ground. Whether it be something important or dog shit, it's going to vacuum it. It's done it before. It's kind of gross. Like, really, really gross. Um, yeah. Uh, Morton Upshot says he has the exact same motors on his 3-inch Beast. Awesome, man. Uh, how do you like them? I'm a, like, I don't know anybody who makes a bad motor, except for, like, the whatever... Whatever... Um, uh, the Sam Gook motors became those are obviously garbage but whatever they're fine uh, let's see there was a day two years ago when it was actually hard to get an ELRS 2.4 receiver uh, and you just had to spend 20 for a ghost and flash yeah yeah there was a hard time there was a time that was difficult to get receivers I really wish Happy Model would 
do something different with our antennas. They are just hot trash, just trash. All right, here we go. Oh, Wu Tank. Wu Tank frame. It is a dead cat, or at least there's a dead cat option and a wide X option. Let's see. CNC drones. I like that. How much does this weigh? Hmm, let's see. Does he say any here, here, here? How much it weighs? Uh, five inch frame is 65 grams. And surprisingly, it's slightly heavier than an ultralight 250, but it's more durable and less vibration prone. Based off of what? How are you saying it's less vibration prone? I'm not doubting it, but like, how are you basing that? Uh, looks like a, eh, it doesn't look like an interesting frame. It just looks like, it doesn't look like anything special. Uh, but, I like the fact that it's on here because I can just literally cut my own. It's like I have that ability. Press nuts. So what do you say this thing is? Sixty-five grams. Sixty-five grams. Uh, let's let's take a look at what the AOS five ultra lightweight. Seventy-nine. That's also in the bag with everything else. Uh, Eighty grams. It's just kind of a rough, rough measurement. Uh, three and a half is sixty grams. Sixty-one grams. I, uh, I, damn it, wrong button again. I question that that frame is actually 65 grams. I don't see how, <laughs> I don't see how that's 65 grams. Um, there is just as much carbon fiber, if not more than in this frame. And it's, I don't believe that it's that light. I don't think so. Uh, How much is a 250? 55 grams is what a, an a Umagod 250 is supposed to weigh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, Game of Godad, what's up? Uh, just moved to Baton Rouge. I uh, got here this morning at 2 a.m. Set up Starlink and just tuned in. Traveling for work. The fifth wheel, by the way. Oh, nice, man. What did Mike Bergman win? I haven't figured this out yet. I just got the Omnifix Eclipse uh, there. Yeah, I just got mine. That thing is pretty damn awesome. Uh, where am I at here? Uh, the ghost, ghost antennas are nice. Yeah, the ghost ones and the beta FU ones are kind of my go-to. Uh, happy, happy model antennas are total hot garbage. Like, they would be the complete package if they just put a decent an antenna in there but they put two antennas in there one short one long just put one good one that's all i ask for is that too much uh my hail all right man we'll see you later 
Um, Head to our local electronic fly. Uh, last day of the indoor season. Uh, ready for the sun and outdoor flying. Yeah, man. Uh, where are we at? Are the TX12s on your website any good? Wait. Are the TX12 grips on your website good? No, they're total shit. Why would I make them and put them on a website if they were shit? No, they're awesome. Ask anybody in here that has purchased grips. They make a huge difference. Um, you know, Cruiser 57, I, it's, it's a typical question that I see people ask, but why? Why? Oh, man. Mm, yep. Flying Ryan has them on all six of his radios. Damn. Hey, thanks. Did I miss the giveaway? No, you didn't. Uh, we'll be doing that here in probably you know, like 25 minutes. Uh, you only got the clips. I didn't know you could buy just the clips. Interesting. Oh, I won a quad from Nick Burns. Awesome. Which which quad did you win, man? Uh, let's see. I have several tweakers. True gifts are crazy. Products. Uh, yeah, uh, Cruiser. Just there are two different versions of the TX12. There's the Mark One and Mark Two, and they are completely different uh, designs. So just just make sure you hit the right one. Um, I still run the internal. Uh, yeah, actually, I've I've basically forgot that I've been doing it, but yeah, no antenna. She is smooth, and uh, I have had zero issues with it. <laughs> I've mispronounced your name about fifteen times. <laughs> awesome. There, uh, Terry uh, Burnett. I have a three inch apex build frame, 56 grams, running HDLRC 2020 stack, Vista Crossfire 1507 motors, uh, dryer 219. It's a fat pig, but fly nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see, what is this thing? This thing's 222 all up with a 650 milliamp 4S battery. This is the uh, uh, BQE Rip Squeak. Uh, and this thing is running some 1505 Toka Mamba something, something KV motors, 30, 3800 KV motors. And this one's running also um, HG0. Uh, and this thing flies like a scalded ape. Like this thing is awesome this thing flies so damn good uh it's it's a fun flyer for the pilot not so much for everybody else watching it but it's a fun it it's fun for the pilot I'll put it that way if that makes any sense uh let's see free range chicken 999 super chat thank you so much my friend greatly appreciate it uh that uh i am truly honored to I'm, I'm surprised anybody pays anything for this. I, I, the community is awesome. I love it. Uh, have you checked out the X18 from FR Sky S L Leston? Uh, I think I have. I just got to remember which one that is. They have so many damn radios. I have seen it and it brings me absolutely no interest whatsoever. Uh, this is the X18. It is not a, uh, is not a radio for us, if that makes any sense. Come on, craptastic internet, let's go. There we go. So there it is. If I was a wing flyer, wait, that's X20. That's not what I want. Okay, eh, X20, X18, pretty much the same here. There's X10, X18 SE. Uh, it is a it. From what I've read and what I've seen and what I know about FR Sky, it's a incredibly well-built radio. I don't want your $15 off coupon for joining your mailer. Incredibly well-built, super nice gimbals, 
ethos as an interface, I don't have any interest in that whatsoever. Um, I don't know what the, the ability to uh, update that is. I do like, um, you know, it's just, it's a very well-designed radio. Uh, now would be a good time to insert ads. Creators earn more money inserting ads and more views that are watching. Give it a try. No. Close. Go away. I don't want you. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the specs are on this guy. Internal 900 and 2.4 dual band. That's kind of interesting. I know uh, everybody's been pushing TBS to do that for years, and they said, no, it won't work. FR Sky supposedly made it work yeah, maybe not i don't know um yeah i don't know i mean i'd say it's a pro if you're a fixed wing flyer it's probably not a bad radio but you're probably flying futaba or uh spectrum at this price point anyways and you're probably not going to be uh, interested in this guy um yeah unfortunately uh they're going to get that box radio. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe MCK. Yeah. The box radio is hands down my favorite radio right now. Uh, especially when, when it does, you know, let's, let's, let's kill some lights here. Let's, let's check this out. Now I thought that the lit gimbal rings would be just stupid. My stupid brain loves these things i don't know why even though i know you don't see them when you're flying i love i love the way they look uh, i would like to redesign the gimbal ring to be um uh user programmable why is so many things making ding dong noises what the hell is going on here uh da, 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 da. All right. Uh, yeah, the Boxer is a spectacular radio. The AGO gimbals make it way too expensive. Don't change the gimbals out unless you have some money burning a hole in your pocket. Um, you got LEDs in your wheel wells. Also. No, uh, don't change them out. They're not. It's not worth changing them out. The, the stock gimbals are just fine. AGOs are just, I don't know, they're just kind of cool, but they do nothing for you. Um, but yeah. Uh, which one would you recommend? All I know is that I need a multi-protocol version. Which would you recommend? Which radio I would recommend? Um, if you want like a fuller size radio, kind of like, like this boxer, and then just get a multi-protocol module to go in the back of it. Express LRS is the way forward for RC communication. As far as I'm concerned, and most people in this hobby, uh, if you're looking for a smaller gamepad style, the Zorro is a great option. The T pro, it seems good on paper, but the build quality is just trash. I don't recommend. I don't recommend that. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the Zorro and the Boxer. The FR Sky um, X Lite is actually a pretty darn good radio. Uh, it's getting a little long in the tooth. It's, it's all kind of preference. If you if you know anybody that flies or there's a flying club, go there. Be cool. See if you can you know feel a bunch of radios. Um, you may get one that just doesn't feel good in your hands. Uh, it's Dart still waiting on a boxer. I ordered one from uh, directly from Radio Master when they announced them. Uh, so that, that's the only reason I got one so early. Uh, Cruiser 57. I have used just about every radio out there. Uh, the mainstream ones. The FR Sky uh, X9 Lite is actually a very good radio. Um, you'll need protocol. Mo you'll need modules for everything on that. Um, the X-Lite's a good gamepad style radio. Uh, the uh, Radio Master TX-16S is a great radio. It's just far too big and heavy, uh, in my opinion, but a lot of people love it. How many fix a website pisses you off? Uh, yeah, it's an annoying website, but look at this thing. This thing, I, the helping hands here is just beautiful. Like this thing, this thing is just great. Uh, I just got mine. I absolutely love it.
Uh, let's see, it starts to says he doesn't like the slider location in the Zoro. Yeah, I don't use the sliders. It doesn't really play a factor. I don't, yeah, I don't like where they put them, but I don't know. I'm working on my RGB gimbal rings. All right. How do I log into Facebook Messenger? Facebook. There we go. There we go. Here's here's a user picture of the grips uh, on the QX70, sort of the pyro orange, which uh, those are in limited, limited production at this point. Uh, when I'm out of that, I'm out of that. I'm not restocking the orange. Um, yes, there's a small human back there. Yeah, I know. She thinks she's cre she's sneaky, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, TX12. That's another great radio. Uh, the TX12, uh, it's smaller than the Boxer a little bit. It's probably the, it's a smaller box style radio. Yeah, I can see it. it's it's right there somewhere. For a while. Uh, the kick symbol gimbals are remarkably good for plastic. Yeah, they are. Um, the tension bar has zero slide contact points plus large ball bearings. Makes it smooth, too bad. FR Sky sucks. Yep. Uh, FR Sky makes great electronics. In like the electronics they make are well built. Um, the uh, the moldings for the radios are second to none. Um, I'm not talking Fatabit. Like Fatabit is just too expensive, and Spectrum just is irrelevant in this hobby. They make better castings for their uh, their cases. The gimbals that come stock are pretty darn. What are you doing? Work. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot that's good about it. just the the protocols they use. Kind of kind of sucks. Tiny human. Uh, Athex uh, links in the description. What you doing? You play games? Hmm? You play games? What happened? Okay. Uh, kids have been getting into, uh, get into Fortnite. It's hard to, uh, kind of, like, ah, uh, turd. It's hard to monitor like who she's talking to. Um, and she has a few friends and family members that she plays with, but I don't want to get out of, out of control. What well, I want to love it called like brown work. I don't know. Uh, business practice with EOS uh, is a final. Yeah, that, that whole thing with Express LRS and their new um, X light, whatever radio, that was just, I don't that was crap. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Leonard Kim. What? What? Well, did you request it? Okay. Uh, hang on. She needs more time. We have more time. Uh, I'll give you an hour. Windows makes some pretty decent, like, screen time rules for the kids. Uh, anyway, that sucks. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Done. Done. Uh, let's see what time is it. It's 11.42. Let's see how many people got in, entered in this uh, raffle bag. Uh, mystery bag raffle. No, that's not what I want. Raffle bag two. Raffle bag. Oh, it still says one. I need to change that to two. There. Raffle bag two. Uh, let's see, I got 24 people entered. Uh, 24 people entered. Uh, we'll spin the wheel in about 10 minutes for whatever's in. You're working? What? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, when it comes to all the She must pick the number today. Uh, whatever's in here goes to one lucky winner. You just got to pay for shipping, or just don't don't accept it. Either way. Uh, but yeah. Brandon says, I caught, uh, my, I caught my kids getting naughty chats from players. You can't assume that safe chat filter works. Yeah, I know. I, I don't. Yeah, that's that's what I worry about. Like, she's uh, she's kind of getting to that age where I, I'm starting to worry about the people she interacts with. Um, and, you, I, you know, technically she's not supposed to be playing these games till she's 13, I think, is what the, the, the age thing is. But it's like. I, I don't know. It, there's so much shitty stuff out there. Um, in the last like week, uh, the 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 soccer coach at her school got caught uh, having relations with one of the high school kids, uh, and then a, a longtime friend of the family uh, that I've known forever and was like friends with my father growing up, and like everybody knows this guy. He got caught diddling kids in his airplane, flying around the state. Like I, it's just. It, I would never would have expected it, but there are just so many horrible, horrible people out there. Um, yeah, it's I would never have expected it. Never. Uh, uh, it was, yeah. Yeah. And that dude used to be a school teacher too. It's what school teachers. Is there something wrong school teachers? Way too many sick people out there. Uh, has anyone got the replacement board for the Radio Master Ranger Micro Nano? I don't know. Um, <laughs> sad state of the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, she doesn't do Discord. So uh, there's that. Philosophers tell kids everything, even if they don't want to know about it. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some middle ground on that one, uh, but yeah, better they find out from something someone that they know and trust than some fucking rando. Let's not forget priest. No, let's never forget priest. Uh, yeah, Morton, that's a, that's a good point. Now, the world isn't any different now. We just hide that stuff. Uh, and we just don't hide that stuff anymore. Yeah, I I think the amount of insane crazy uh kind of it is still there um it's just more prevalent now just like we see it more i think i i don't know oh ethics that's horrible dude all right this we're going down a, a, a bad road here let's talk let's talk let's talk fpv uh so anyways do you think it's possible to get sub 250 with the 03 air unit in a uh, <laughs> right uh, in a five inch ultralight, or do you think I'm better off going with the three and a half to have a little bit of headroom so I can use different lipos? I, I actually kind of want to run this at 6s. I have some 6s packs. Let me grab one real quick. So I do have some 6S packs. I, I built a, a 250 with a Vista uh, that I was running. Uh, let me change exposure here. Which I was running on 6S. These packs are a bit on the hefty side. They are what? These are what? 380 milliamp 6S uh, XC30s, 64 grams. Whereas, like if I was going to do it 4S, it'd be an 850 4S, uh, 103. So it's honestly a lighter pack. Uh, what six point or eight point six six watt hours versus twelve point? So it's almost well, not quite. It's about uh, two thirds the capacity or the the energy as a four S, but uh, you get that six S kind of pop. I don't know how. 
I don't know if 6S on a 3.5 inch is going to make a difference between a 4S. Uh, I had one of the Diatone GTB um, quads that came set up for 6S, and it just didn't... It didn't really make much of a difference uh, between flying that one and the identical quad on 4S. Obviously, different motors, but I didn't really see much of a difference. Uh, the 6S 380 is the 250 pack. Yes, it is. Uh, that's why I have it. It's just, that's, yeah. Uh, I probably, let's see. Morton Upshot says, um, let's go back. Uh, did you get the bad bad with the draw? Uh, TK, did you get the bad with the draw? I don't know what you're saying there, TK. Uh, Freeload just says three and a half for sure. Gamma says totally doable. Uh, as a five inch, I'm assuming what you're saying. Uh, personally, I go 3.5. Even 250 would be tight. Uh, I'd go three and a half. That's doable. Success pack. Yep. Uh, pack way in at four. I use 4S. 250 pack. Three inch. Oh, actually, I have my 250. Oh, sorry. God, this thing feels light. All right, so this is the 250, uh, the actual uh, 250. This one does have a Vista in it, is not naked. Um, so up the way it is, is 186 plus the pack is 249. 249, like we are right, right there. I don't think I could make this any lighter. Uh, it's not the lightest motors in the world, but these things are way more durable than the ultralights. Um, so how much, how much does a Vista weigh compared to an O3? Oh no, actually at this point, yeah, I can't make that work because the O3 is definitely gonna be more than one gram more than a Vista. So with this setup here, five inch by blade, sub 250, this has got a beast AO. It's very similar to what I'm trying to build. It's got a Vista with a, what is this thing? Uh, the Cadex Nebula Pro um, and a 6S pack, 249. So no, I don't believe I could do a, a, a sub 255 inch with a DJI 03 air unit. I think, I think that right there pretty much proves it. Yeah, okay. Well, that was easy to figure out. Oh man, this thing feels damn light. This is a lot of fun. This thing is a lot of fun. Uh, personally throwing together AOS 5, uh, th AOS 3.5 V2 with an 03 AOS and the 254 kidneys. Um, Uh, yeah, your 250 with HD0 is 236 with battery. Bitterroot is at 6S. What does an O3 air unit naked weigh? All right, here we go. So we've got naked O3 air unit is 26.3 all up. 17.37. Damn, that thing loses a ton of weight. Nine grams. That's, that's a lot. All right, so what's a Vista weigh naked? Or what's a, what's a DJI Vista weigh? Cadex Vista. Twenty nine grams. Mm. But that's just the air unit. What does it weigh with the camera? I don't know. I, I think I don't think there's gonna be enough margin uh, to make it work. Doesn't mean I won't try. But I want I want I need a quad now, and I think I'm gonna do a three and a half. 
Not going naked. That's what I'm building. That was three and a half. Yeah, I think that's. I think I'm doing the exact same thing you're talking about, Gamma. Um, uh, all Mac FPV, welcome, man. How you doing? Uh, hey, get in on the giveaway. Video description. Go down. Go get it. Get it. Uh, let's do case light. Not all the Dremel in, but you know, I can do that. Uh, freaking O3s is so goddamn expensive, though. I'm nervous to go naked with them. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Drill holes in the frame, yeah. Light lightning holes in the frame. Uh, I haven't actually pulled these out of the fr bag to see what they look like, but uh, I, there's not a lot of meat on the bone to get rid of on these things. Um, and of course, I'm taking the weight with everything in the bag. I don't know if there's extra stuff in there. Uh, I'm sure there's a few extra screws, but yeah, speed holes. <laughs> Simpsons, speed holes. So, you know, I think, I, don't know, I know the camera weighs significantly more than the, uh, than the, uh, the, the Cadex cameras do. But yeah, I think, I think for now, for like, reliability and just not having to stress about saving every gram I think I'm gonna do the three and a half uh, and then I, for some reason I get a wild hair up my ass maybe I'll do the do the five inch just see see if I can do it uh, Brandon Wiggins says the camera has a heat sink for the sensor the lens is so large that the optical sensor can build up heat and sustain direct sunlight without that something's here okay yeah can you mess with battery if you don't discharge it? Yes, you can, Cruiser. Uh, the battery is left fully charged for an extended period of time will uh, shorten its life. Boost JDM, what's the goals of the build? <clears throat> Stay sub 250 with an O3 air unit. That's that's the goal. That's the end goal. Sub 250 with an O3 unit. Now, I would, I would like to have, you know, good performance and all that, but that's the goal. Uh, make a monster. Okay, what's up on Mac? Aluminum hardware. Yeah, aluminum hardware. Uh, titanium hardware. Uh, I had a post a long time ago where I weighed steel hardware, aluminum hardware, and titanium hardware all the same lengths. And the titanium was significant. It was a couple grams lighter for a full up quad. All right, it is 11.56. Uh, if you haven't gotten in on the giveaway uh, for the mystery bag, do so in the next like 30 seconds. Link is in the video description. If you don't get on there, I am sorry. Uh, do you recommend any dischargers for XT30? Uh, you can use your charger. Uh, if you have a charger that has a discharge function, just do that. Or uh, the ISDT line of dischargers. I love them. Uh, both of these are awesome little tools. It seems stupid to buy a, char a, a thing for specifically discharging batteries when your charger can do it, if your charger can do it. If you have a charger and it can't discharge, you probably need to buy a better charger before you go with something like this. But these things are just, they're a nice to have, not a necessary thing. The, uh, the FD100, that's this little guy, works great. Uh, the FD200 uh, works more greater. Uh, it has Bluetooth control or whatever. Nobody really cares about that stuff. Those things are awesome to have but if your charger won't put them into storage charge get a different charger that's probably the route you should go uh twiffy says i need uh, l max says i need grips for my mambo like a charcoal i have the clear case like a charcoal like a charcoal i have some i have a sheet of gray i think laying around um hit me up uh over on discord if you're not already on discord if you're not on my discord links in the video description or uh email me tweet fb at gmail.com i'll take a picture of that material and uh see what you think all right guys closing the giveaway down five four three two one and we are done with that let's go ahead and set up the wheel o name -os. all right Let's go. Da, da, da. Don't show everybody's fucking email address like I did that one time. Like a dumbass. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. 32 entries. 32 entries. Let's go over to the wheel of names. Here we go. If you don't see your name on the wheel, 
I don't know what to do for you. There we go. Ah, that's how we fix the ads. I just put my dumb face over top of them. Here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh, do you have issues with the buttons on the discharger? No, I don't. I've used it a lot. Cora, pick a number uh, between 10 and 60. Pick a number between 10 and 60. Uh, 50. 50. Okay. 50. All right. All right. Go away. All right, guys. You heard the girl. 50. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good luck, everybody. And running around it goes. 50 is a long time. And we'll get to see what's in the bag. I honestly don't remember what's in the bag because I've just been throwing stuff in there over the last couple of weeks. Uh, okay. Uh, not receiving enough video to maintain smooth. Ah, oh, dang it. My internet's already... It's crapping out at the worst time. Hopefully it comes back. Good luck. Uh, mine worked perfectly fine. Um, hmm, I don't know. Is it going to be Jeff? I named Jeff. Jeff, where were the f are you won? Congratulations. Congratulations, Jeff. Jeff, let's see what's in the bag. Let's see what Jeff won. Oh. All right, let's, uh, let's start here in the top pocket. Ah. Open lager. Open lager. You want an open lager? If you don't know what an open lager is, Look it up. They're awesome. Uh, let's see. A beta FPV MTO. No, that's not what this is. This is a Cadex uh, Racer Nano camera of some sort. I don't remember what it is. Nope, not Cadex. Run cam. Run cam camera. Ah, a house FPV Express LRS uh, dongle thingy. Uh, for doing okay so what this does here's the inside of it so this uh, connects your computer and then it interfaces between your Express OS transmitter and your computer for sim racing uh, it's way better than doing Bluetooth it's not better than doing wired but it's not wired uh, only thing you have to do is solder in a uh, receiver EP1 EP2 whatever you want you just solder it right in there uh, house FPV has uh, a GitHub with all the information on how to do that. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, we got a Flywoo Bluetooth Nano module. So this adds Bluetooth to any uh, flight controller. You just need a available UART, tiny little thing right there. And uh, you can do beta flight through Bluetooth. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little thing. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, got some stickers. What else? Let's see. Ah, a uh, little zipper pouch for your traveling solder iron. So, uh, I think it's designed for the uh, TS series, but just about all the portable solder irons will fit inside of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, where can we take a band of house work? No, for the channel. Nice man. Uh, Drone Tech had almost fifty dollar. Oh, interesting. Uh, Drone Tech. Uh, Brandon, can you mind dropping a link in there? Uh, I had a rush from the wheel. <laughs> nice. Uh, why do I have a GoPro screen in there? Ah. You will also be receiving a uh, naked. GoPro. Uh, it's GoPro Hero 6. Naked. Uh, oh, it has an SD card in it. You're not getting the SD card. Uh, naked GoPro Hero 6. Uh, this, uh, I highly recommend you buy some sort of ND filter to protect that lens. That lens is soft as... Soft as... Uh, something that's soft. I'm out of ideas for names, but uh, buy a protective ND filter or just a UV filter. So, naked GoPro Hero 6. 
And then uh, this is the screen that you plug into it to uh, to interface with it. Uh, you just use uh, GoPro, the GoPro software. Once you get set up, uh, I'll include all the information, like the the camera name and the uh, password for it. What else is in here? And that's it. That's it for the mystery bag. Thanks you all for playing along. Oh, let's see, brand baked beans. Let's see what do we got here. You have the. All right, drone tag release, ultra small internal remote ID module for global drone producers. Oh, I did see this. Do they make this for DIYs? Does anybody make one for DIY yet? I haven't read the whole article, but just from the gist of it, it sounds like it's for produ production use. Uh, all right. All right, guys, that's my time for today. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I greatly appreciate every person in the chat, everybody who donated to the the uh, Super Chats, uh, all that stuff. Greatly appreciate it. This is you know, one of the best parts of the hobby is the, uh, the community. And uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, Jeff, I will be sending you an email. I'll get some chipping information from you uh, a little bit later on today. And uh, yeah. Everybody get out, go fly, go have some fun. Go enjoy, go enjoy the weather if you've got it. Uh, stay around for Bardwell and then Ciotti. And I will see you all next week for the Patreon giveaway up here. You want to get in on it early, the way it works, $5 and up. You get the link now. When it's available, when I make it, you get it early. Everybody else, you get it when we go live with the video. So, no Bardwell? Is there no Bardwell? Oh, that sucks. Um... Uh, quad kids never received anything yet. Yep. I haven't sent anything out yet. Uh, I will. I, I saw the pile of stuff this morning and I forgot that I had to do it. It's been a busy month, man. I'm sorry. Uh, can't fly yet. Need a new radio. No JB today. Try messaging you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got some stuff. I just hadn't gotten a chance to send it. That's all. But I will get that out to you soon. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. And uh, as always, try to find the button. There's the button. Uh, and as always, folks, uh, you know, go out there and stay positive. We'll see you next week. Go fly. Bye. Oh God, I uh, I forgot, guys. There's a new connector out there from uh, from GMB. If you guys haven't seen this thing yet, you should probably check it out. The GMB, uh, what are they calling this thing? The A30 connector, compatible with BT 2.0, lower price, latest BT 2.0, better performance, uh, better than the GMB 27, wider range batteries. There's the A30. It looks like a GMB two, or it looks like a BT 2.0 that got uh, involved with a GMB 27. So um, there it is. Hopefully this is the connector of the future. We'll see what happens. All right, bye.